Tag. Play it. Just play it. Tag. Knock on. Hold, 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 hold. I suspect you guys are having the same problem we are, and that's panic passing. We're throwing the ball without actually looking who we're throwing it to. Are they running sideways? Yeah. Are we doing that? Um, are we, and I know communication can be an issue, but are both teams trying to communicate with each yeah. other? Yeah. Okay, because that's going to be the key to this. A lot of what we do at our school is not just about learning, it, it's also about teaching and sharing. They love the game, they, they love Good. taking what they know and passing it off to somebody and seeing that, that light bulb you know, go off in their head. That's a good realignment, look at that. Great realignment. See, this looks like they're playing sevens now. I first started talking about the idea of having rugby here. I'd say that um, you know the response here was uh, dubious. You know, people were saying, "Oh, it's pretty dangerous." So it took me some time to sell it to the kids and other people here. I think some of the roadblocks that Mark probably came up against are, are common whenever you introduce any new sport to the school. People aren't familiar with rugby, they think their kids are going to get hurt, and I think once you really educate them and show them the power of the game, you really change minds. Listen, when you don't engage, you do not engage either team until I say engage. It's ready, crouch, touch, pause, engage. If you had no idea that model were deaf, you would be like, these guys are stud athletes. And so when the opportunity came up last year to help them get a program, uh, I asked the kids who's in it. And uh, I think they were excited to see another team start up and to have some involvement with, with those kids. I thought he was just playing around because he, he's a very jokeful guy. He played around a lot. But when we actually went up to model and taught him how to play, it was like very energetic and like dedicated to learning the game. So it was kind of fun, you know? So I enjoyed it. I thought it was going to be a lot of fun. And then just sitting around doing something else. I mean, really, I, you know, I wasn't playing any spring sports anyway. Rugby, I was like, hey, why not? You know, I, I'll go, I'll show up for that. For my kids, it, it's eye-opening to, one, see guys communicating with something other than their voice. You know, when we first started this, it was touch and go. We had to figure out, okay, how are we going to communicate? How do we get players to hear the whistle? And so we came up with, all right, every player on my team, as soon as you hear a whistle, you're going to throw your hand up in the air. So the other team sees that. We, I think, have a great advantage over the hearing teams, um, you know, in terms of playing because it is a visual game and we're very visual. You know, they only have to give one or two hand signals and they know what one another is saying. You know, the first time we played in, in any sport was probably basketball. And I remember our kids were a little taken back because um, the deaf players, they weren't talking, they were signing during the game as they're dribbling, but they, they use very, it's, all, it's like a guttural, like passionate sound. And my kids were like, oh, what's, you know, they didn't know what that was about. It was like the kid's passion coming out of their voice that has stuck in my brain every time I go over to their gym. That's the first thing that ever comes into my mind. <laughs> my, um, my sister came to one of the games and she was like, man, who them guys? I'm like, man, that's model. She was like, they can hear? I was like, nah, but they sure could play. I mean, we're athletes, period. I mean, we play all kinds of different sports. So with rugby, I mean, it's just a lot of the same, a lot of the same things. And so, I mean, that's no big deal. I am always moved and amazed when I see our kids and their kids together after games, win or lose. There, there's a respect level that I don't see with a lot of other programs. So Tal said, you know, hey, you're going to make your mark here. You're going to be the first deaf team in the country. You know, I've, I just feel so honored and proud to be a part of this, and the students feel the same way. I think anytime you put two very different um, communities of people together and they have to learn to interact uh, is a good thing because suddenly all these misperceptions and stereotypes go out the window and what you're left with is just kids. Hey, ho, ho, hey, 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 hey,